class, I'm Dr. April Strom, and in this video, we are going to explore another example of dealing with the derivative of natural log x. And so just a reminder, like we saw in the last couple of videos, the derivative of natural log x is in fact 1 over x. And another reminder that when I have an argument of just x here, my denominator for my derivative re result is also just an x. But if this argument is more complicated, then this denominator also needs to match and be more complicated. Okay, that's gonna come up in my next example that we have here. We've got the equation y equals natural log of 3x squared plus one. 3x squared plus one is, the entire thing there is in the argument of that natural log function. And so what we have here is another composition of functions. Outside function here being the natural log x, inside function being the 3x squared plus one. So, of course, that means I'm gonna to have to use the chain rule. So I'm now going to find the derivative of y, and again, I'll go ahead and just use my notation dy dx this time, since I had the y over here on the left, to represent my derivative, and that's going to be equal to, all right, gotta take the derivative of natural log. Well, according to the rule, I'm gonna have one over that argument, our argument is 3x squared plus 1. So now for the outside function's derivative, I simply have 1 divided by 3x squared plus 1. But via the chain rule, I have to have the second part. I now need to multiply by the derivative of that inside function. I can't forget that second piece. So now I have that inside function 3x squared plus 1. Find its derivative in our next step. So we have dy dx is equal to, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this first fraction as is, 3x squared, plus, one over 3x squared plus one. And I will multiply that now by the derivative of that inside function. The derivative here for this first term in the inside function is simply six x. And the derivative of just that constant is zero. So for this whole derivative here, you're simply gonna get just six x back out. And then to clean it up and simplify, you can now write this as dy dx is equal to 6x goes in the numerator, because technically that's over 1 over here as a reminder. So 6x in the numerator, denominator 3x squared plus 1. And unfortunately, there's no way we can actually simplify this expression any further. It's just going to have to stay like this. So now this is my derivative of this function here, y equals natural log of 3x squared plus 1. So again, just a reminder, be very careful. Whatever your argument to here in your function is after natural log must match in your denominator. And don't forget, if you have a chain rule problem, you've got to multiply by the derivative of that second part. Thank you.